In this video, I'm going to show you how I make the packaging that I use to take my paintings to and from shows. I'm using a material that is designed for underlay under laminate floors. I get it at the Home Improvement Center in large rolls. And I use this to make a package. You can measure the painting hanging on the wall, or you can measure it flat on a surface. You want to go across the painting, but down the sides as well. And now I'm going to use this measurement twice, which is a little bit more than the actual measurement would be around the painting because you're going down the sides twice. So that will give you just enough leeway to fasten the edges. So you can measure it that way, or you can use, in the case of a small painting, you can just use the painting to measure it instead. Now I'll put a little mark here. and use that length. Just measure it up and use that measurement to cut the piece that I will make the package out of. So just cut one long even strip. You can fold it to make it easier to measure. and you'll be cutting it just a little bit more than the height of your painting. So now I'm just going to even this edge up a little bit because it's a bit crooked. So now to um, de determine the height, you can use the painting itself or you can measure the height and add just a little bit extra. Use that measurement and I'll just make a little notch on the side here as a guideline. You could notch both sides, but usually one is sufficient. Fold it over, and that will be my little package size. And I'll cut just a little bit past to create a flap to go over the painting. Now to fuse the edges, it's a good idea to work in a well-ventilated area anytime you're using heat to melt anything. So that's my little package. Uh, now I'm going to get some tracing paper as I will use that to create the package. By using tracing paper, I will keep the material from sticking either to the ironing board or to the iron. So just cut a strip of the pa tracing paper. You could use ordinary paper, but you want to be able to see where you're fusing. So that's why I'm using the tracing paper. Fold it. And now you'll just place the fold of your package in that little fold you've created in the tracing paper. I've preheated my iron. It's not a real high heat, just a medium heat, and I've turned off any steam. And I'll just run it along the edge. You can see that it fuses it slightly. You can tip your iron a little if it makes it easier, just to get a nice sharp fold. And you'll know if you haven't quite fused it enough because it won't quite stick and then you can just go again. See here at the top, it's not quite fused enough. You want it really well fused together at the top because that will get the most wear and tear. So I'll just give it another little go, a little extra pressure at the top. It doesn't take very long to fuse it. And you can play with your heat to see what works for you. You can see how cleanly it comes off the tracing paper. Now we'll just do the same thing on the other side. Tuck it right into the fold. And fuse it. I like to just turn the iron edge just a little bit. I'm working here in my laundry room because it's the best light. 
and there's the little package. So now your painting will just slide neatly into its package. If you're working in standard sizes, you can make several the same, or you can make one for each little package, for one for each little painting. Tuck it in. In a case like this, I wouldn't probably need quite as big a flap. I'll trim that down in a second. So there you have it. These little packages will keep your frames safe while you're moving the paintings around from show to show. I generally just stack them up in my vehicle. Uh, I don't need quite as large a flap here. And what I do then is put cardboard between them if the frames are different sizes and they travel really well. They also are great to give the painting to the customer in because they feel safe taking them home that way.